LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to click the regular size keys onto the hinges, onto the keyboard. Then we're going to insert a large size uh, key onto the keyboard, which we're going to use an enter for. Then we're going to do the space bar. So we're going to start out with the uh, letter H, which is the regular size key, and this is the area for it. Now you can see at the top corners, there's two small hooks and a larger one in the middle at the bottom. Uh, of course the rubber cup is there. If you don't uh, have the rubber cup in there, don't worry about it yet. Um, you do that right after you put the uh, hinges in. So we're going to start out by determining the position of the large hinge, which is this. And you can see at the bottom it has two pins, and at the top it has two rectangular holes. Now I say top and bottom as far as the hinge goes because those two bottom pins um, are going to go wherever the large hook is. In this case it's at the bottom, but that can go to the top or to the side. So if the large hook were to be at the top, then we would flip the, the entire hinge over like that. But in this case the large hook is at the bottom, so we put the small pins at the bottom also. Now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down by feeling the vertical bars. If you feel a small bump in the middle that faces and touches the keyboard, if you feel it's one smooth piece from top to bottom that faces away from the keyboard. So put that down in the right position for now and get the next piece which is this. Now this bottom bar goes wherever the large hook is. So those two pins in the middle are going to click into the holes that are at the uh, middle of the uh, large piece and yeah, it has two square holes at the top which are going to click onto the keycap. So make sure not to put this whole piece upside down by feeling the uh, the bottom here. If you feel that the, uh, the very very bottom bar is slightly lower than the rest of the piece that faces away from the keyboard. Now if you feel that the very bottom bar is is higher than the rest of the hinge you flip it over and that touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for both hinges. What we want to do now is put the small piece over the large one and at, uh, we're going to do a movement that requires the bottom bar of the small piece to go underneath the bottom bar of the large piece. And at the same time we're going to click that left pin onto the hole that's over there to the left on the larger piece. So go ahead and start with uh, putting the bottom bar underneath the other bottom bar. Then you click that uh, that pin onto its left side. So this part's in and that part's in. Now we have to click the last pin onto the last hole, which is on uh, in this case to the right. So there's not enough space for the pin to go into that hole. What you have to do is uh, hold both pieces tightly, individually actually, so that you can stretch the large one away from the small hinge. And that's how you're going to get that pin in there. So now both hinges are one. We have to put that small bar, the small piece, underneath the large hook. Just like that. Once that's in, you hold it down so it doesn't come back out. We have to stretch the hinges upwards in order for the metal hooks to grab onto the hinges. So I use a blade, you can use a knife or just anything strong and thin in order to get those
hinges underneath the metal hooks. Once everything is underneath the hooks, you just get your keycap, you put it right in the center, and push down evenly on all four sides like that. So that's it for the regular size key. Let's do an enter key, which is a large key. Now, it's the same procedure, only on a larger scale. Uh, the large uh, the first hinge is more of a U, and then um, the uh, the piece in the center has a flat area down here in order to go underneath the large hook. And you can see that on top here it's arched, so flat or straight and arched. That's it. Then you just get your keycap, put it in the center, and push down evenly on all four sides. Same thing for the space bar. Uh, the space bar has. Uh, the same size hinges as the regular size keys so yeah that's how that looks then the rubber cup goes over here but you can notice a loop here a metal loop to the very left and right that's for the wire that goes behind the keycap and that's how the keycaps go you can see uh, this is the right position for the for the keycap and if you flip it over this way, make sure to flip it over this way, uh, you can see the right position for the wires, so you can feel free to copy off that. And, yeah, the wire at the top goes, uh, you want to open that up, don't close it down flat onto the keycap. Open it up, and then flip your keycap over again, and you want to do is flip it over this way so you can actually see the wires and put those wires through those loops. So go ahead and do one side first, then you do the other side. Once those wires are through those loops, you just lay down your keycap onto the hinges and push down evenly on all four sides of the, uh, or actually on the entire area of the space bar so that it can click on to the hinges and that's it. LaptopKey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.